Page. It happens again. BLW versus Tom Eisman, one on one. At Rockford, Rockford's Damage Inc. Pro Wrestling. A lot of history between these two as tag team partners and opponents. The OW with the size advantage. Tom Eisman's got to be quick around the draw, trying to throw the strikes. Very quick, very early. The BOW is a monster in that ring with incredible power and strength and size. His headbutts are devastating. The juggernaut of evil. This match might steal the show. An incredible showdown between these two men with lots of history. And every time they're in the ring with or against each other, there's a lot of physicality. And whenever you mention any kind of affiliation with the scumbag army, these two are often mentioned in that conglomerate. This is where I bring the pain. Bill W said, bring your best. We'll find out who will win. Bill W. Might indeed have given a foreshadowing of Tom Eisman's future if he didn't move out of that corner, and he did. Great reaction time and reflexes by Eisman, who's going to try to pick him up. That is not an easy man to win. 330 pounds. And Heisman probably is at a 100-pound disadvantage right here. Devastating backbreaker executed by BLW as he's trying to really do the damage across his leg right there. Trying to bend time Heisman in half. They know each other very well. They know each other's strengths and weaknesses. You got a very serious, powerful, domineering monster in there against the sinister, laughing, violent, brutal force. Yeah, Tom Heisman has his fans from Youth Gone Wild. He has his own fan base. The people here in Rockford know what he's about. But the juggernaut of evil, he's on a different level. Erratic, frantic, combustible personalities. My goodness. All that damage done to the upper back of Tom Eisman with that elbow, but a two count there. The official Omar did see Tom Eisman's right leg draped on the bottom rope to force the rope break. That is the equivalent of being out of bounds in a wrestling environment. Lots of tension exists. There's reason for. There's, there's literally room for only one of these two, a damage versary, to win. And we're going to find out who the better man is before night's end. <laughs> we're looking for a choke slam, a choke bomb, a cloverleaf submission, or potentially a pump hit. Oh my goodness! Oh, the leg! The leg of Heisman! came out from under him as he tried to lift up BLW. It was like having a piano drop on top of you, and Tom Eisman barely escaped. BLW known for a gut wrench power bomb as well. Tom Eisman known for a series of neck breakers, the crossroads drop, dragon sleeper. Known for death drops, very deceptive agility and power that both of these individuals possess. And you wouldn't know that by St. Tom Heisman, but I have a feeling Heisman has the ability to do it. My goodness, what a death drop. What an innovative maneuver in midair. Tom Heisman avoid devastation and destruction and was able to turn the tables. BLW has been hurt. He's hooked the inside leg for a two count there. Pro wrestling action at Damage Inc. continues. Lots of singles matches this evening. And one on one it is a situation where we will find out who the better man is. Wow! Oh, he body slammed him! That was impressive! What can Tom Heisman capitalize? Uh, I don't think he got enough of it. Just flipping him end over end just doesn't do enough damage. You're going to have to do more than that. Heisman trying to keep the OW in close. Trying to use some heavy hand strikes, but BLW goes for the head, neck, and throat of Heisman. It's one of the ways that you can turn the tables on your opponent. If you know that they're trying to isolate a significant part of your body, you can find an escape or some sort of a counter or a very similar strategy. BLW with repeated headbutts. That's Tom Heisman on spaghetti legs, barely able to stand. Racing shot by Heisman, couldn't put the bigger man down. 
Knee cap driven into B.O.W.'s skull. B.O.W. hanging on, on the middle rope. Trying to recover, but facing in the wrong direction. Heisman at times likes to try to propel his body onto his opponent while they're in this position. As Heisman's on the run, the B.O.W. is able to shift his position, but not long enough. Heisman found a way to scoop and spin and drop them on his head, but a two count only. Heisman with BLW bent over. Spinning backbreaker, nicely done. Continues to hold on to the head and neck of BLW, trying to go for another one. That neckbreaker was impressive. Both bodies dropped simultaneously. Look at this. The Famouser, the leg drop from the back of the head. Will Tom Eisman be able to defeat the bigger man here? Whoa, two and seven eighths, not enough. Eisman, BLW, as a tandem, they've done a lot of destruction and devastation. When you think about the tag teams and all of Janet James, you gotta think about the tag champs. TNC Destruction, Cody James at NWA this weekend. But Chris Miller next. My goodness, there it is! Devastating pile driver. Can Tom Heisman recover after that drop? He might have been paralyzed after that one. Oh, what a crazy landing that was. And you got a feel for Tom Heisman after suffering that kind of drop. Very tra traumatic injuries could have been suffered right there. And once again, Almost out of instinct alone, Heisman was able to shift his body and his position to his right leg. Could dangle off the bottom rope to force the rope break just in time. What would have happened to B.O.W. and one time Heisman were to work together as a tandem to meet CNC Destruction at some point in the future? Wouldn't that be an intriguing tag team showdown? BLW sending Tom Eisman into another neutral corner. Oh, he ran in and missed, trying to go for the splash. As Heisman starts to climb, as he continues to do damage, but BLW just slid in that elbow when he, Heisman least expected it. Uh-oh, electric chair in progress. Watch out. Dangerous spot for Heisman in this particular position. BLW can literally fall backward with him at any moment. And it could be disastrous for Heisman to try to continue this match. Heisman trying repeated shots, trying to get off of the shoulders of BLW. I don't know how, but seems to me as though Heisman has scissored his legs around the neck and throw to BLW, but he can't seem to knock him out. That was unique that he almost knocked the man out while he was standing. I don't think I've ever seen that before. They both collapse. They both fall. Heisman's on top. Wait a minute. Was his shoulder up or not? The ref's hand went down. This match is over. Heisman is the winner of this one. He is the winner. Tom Heisman.